So hey guys, welcome to another video. So in this video, we are going to see how you can integrate Dialogflow chatbot with AngularJS using Communicate. To get started, you will need a Dialogflow chatbot of working knowledge of Dialogflow and AngularJS. To integrate the chatbots with Angular, you will need a Communicate account. If you don't have a Communicate account yet, there is a registration link in the description box below. You can register now for a 30-day free trial. To get started, you can easily create a chatbot in Dialogflow or edit one of their provided sample chatbot templates. To go further, you can create your own intents and entities. So for the very next step, log into your Communicate account and then click on Bot Integrations. And from the Bot Integration section, choose your version of Dialogflow and then log into your Dialogflow CX console. So here, as you can see in this step 2, there is a link to directly go to the Service Account Key page. Just click create service account key. After that, you will land on this page. And now from this drop down list, click new service account. Give your service account a name and then from role, from project, select your role as owner. Once that is done, make sure your key type is set as JSON and then click create. Your key will be automatically downloaded. Now move back to communicate. Now here, you need to upload your service account key. You can simply drag and drop or click to upload the file. So next part is entering agent ID. For that, you need to go back to your Dialogflow console. From here, click on the menu button and click copy ID. So now move back to communicate and paste your agent ID. After pasting, make sure that you remove the path in front of the ID. You need to remove everything till agents and the remaining part is your actual agent ID. After that, you just need to click save and proceed. The next step is to give your bot a name and then choose a profile photo for your bot. And if you want, you can also upload your own photo. Once done, click save and proceed. In the next part, you can choose to enable or disable the bot to human handoff feature. Once you are done with your choice, click update bot setup. Once you are done with integrating Dialogflow with Communicate, let's proceed to a next step, which is installing the Angular CLI globally. For next few steps, I would recommend you that you open a blog tutorial for AngularJS so that you can directly copy and paste few commands which we are going to need. The direct link to the blog is in the description box below. For these commands to work, make sure that you have installed Node.js on your PC. Now let's begin installing Angular CLI. Copy the install command from the blog page and then open terminal or command prompt. Make sure that you run it as administrator and then paste copied command into the command prompt window and press enter. Wait for it to install. Once you are done with the installation, copy the command to create a new workspace and initial app project and again paste it in the command window. After pasting, press enter. Once the workspace creation is done, copy the server launch commands and then paste those in your command window. Once you press enter, the compilation process will begin. Once it is done compiling, it will automatically open a browser window and there you will be able to see the status of your app. Now here comes the final part. You need to open your file explorer and then find your workspace folder. For me, it was inside the system32 folder. Here is the my app folder. Just open it, go to src and then click on app. Once you open your app folder, you will be able to see this file app.component.ts. You need to right click on this file, go to open with and open it with any preferred text editor. The file should look something like this. You will also be able to see the title of your app which you gave while installing. Once that is done, go back to your browser window and from the blog, copy this code. You need not copy the whole code because till title, it is already present in your file. Starting from ng on init, copy the text all the way up to the second last bracket. I repeat, leave the last bracket out. You'll see in a moment why. Just right click and click copy. Now go back to your text editor and just below the title line, paste your code here. And as you can see, there is this closing bracket already. That is why we left the bracket in the first place. So paste your code here. Now, pay attention. In front of app ID, you can see your app ID written. So where can you get your app ID? Simply log into your communicate dashboard. From here, go to settings, click install. And from the install page, you'll be able to see your app ID. Just click on copy, go to your text editor, and then replace this text with your app ID. Just click paste. And there you go. So now just simply save your document. After saving the file, go back to your browser window. And then once you refresh, you will be able to see 
that you have successfully integrated your Dialogflow bot with AngularJS. So guys, that is it for this video and see you in the next one.